Hello. I am uh, Jonathan Phillips. I'm a career tech supervisor for the Cal County Schools, and we're excited you are watching this virtual tour. I know several other of uh, our other employees have talked about the reason why we're doing the virtual tour is because of the COVID. We'd love to have y'all in person, but since we can, we thought this would be a great opportunity. I want to take a moment to uh, tell you a little bit of what we're known for. Uh, you know, when you come to the tech school, we're known as uh, one of the top programs in the Southeast United States. Uh, we're a two-time uh, SREB Pay Center School Award winner. Uh, we've won 66 state championships, uh, two national championships, and one world championships in, uh, in the Cap County Career Tech. So if you have any interest in any, any of the trades or skills, uh, come check us out. Uh, you can start coming in your 11th grade and uh, complete your 12th grade year here, get two full years. And uh, offer. we also offer uh, dual enrollment opportunities in the evening so you can get a jump start on your college career. So if you have any questions, feel free to uh, check out our Facebook page, our Instagram page, or our Twitter page, and uh, send us a message. Hello, I'm Joey Heyman. I'm the principal here at the tech school and the assistant career tech director. If you are a student in any of our schools in DeKalb County, um, we would like to welcome you to our school. We're doing a little bit different approach this year to our open house. A lot of times we take all of the 10th graders and bring them through for a visit. Um, due to the COVID, we're not able to do that, so we're trying to make you a little video to try to show you what we have to offer for you up here. Um, like I said, I'm Mr. Heyman. I take care of the day-to-day -day operations You'll see me around the school a lot. I'll be in the classrooms and the shops, uh, helping everything. My background, I have an agriculture background, taught ag for 18 years before moving up here to this program. So uh, this is sort of the, the place that I went to school to be. Um, I've always had career tech in my heart um, from the get-go. So this is a good opportunity for me, I think, to talk to y'all about some of the opportunities we have up here. We have multiple um, classes that we teach, you'll see on the video, but as it starts out, cosmetology, we have uh, several nursing programs, welding, auto body, auto mechanics, masonry, we have fire science, criminal justice, and engineering technology class. So if any of those interest you, you need to make sure you get with one of us. Um, Mrs. Mitchell, our counselor, will be coming around talking to all of you to let you know our openings and things like that. And hopefully you'll see something on this video that um, inspires you to try to be a work-related student. I know college is not for everyone. College is a great thing. I went to a lot of colleges. I've got several degrees, but you do not have to go to college and get a college degree to make a outstanding living. The trades industry is very strong nowadays so if you are a person that may not want a whole lot of college debt, um, we've got a program for you up here that will make you happy and hopefully will make you a good living the rest of your life. So that being said, um, if you have any questions you can contact me or Miss, Mrs. Mitchell and we will talk to you about coming up to Tech School. If we'll schedule some visits to all the schools to come around, I may come with Miss Mitchell. I'm gonna to try to come to the meetings to talk to you if you have any questions about anything like that. But um, other than that, we'd love to have you up here. I think we have close to 500 students that come to the Tech School every day. We have three different blocks, first, second, and third periods. Come for about an hour and a half. So you have a lot of shop time, a lot of laboratory style classes. Um, pretty good place up here. We uh, we enjoy it. We take it serious. Uh, one thing about it, you know, you know if, if you decide to make the choice to come to Tech School, um, it's a choice you decide to leave your home campus to come up here. So we take it very seriously. So hopefully um, you can come up here. We will give you a good start to your future. If, if you would like to make big time money without going to college, there's programs up here for you. So, again, I think I've said it before, but college, forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollar college um, fees that you'll have for the four years 
a lot of our classes go on to two-year institutions. We've got a lot of scholarships. We've got some students that leave straight from here and go straight in the workforce and can make make really good money and won't have all the college debts to spend. You can just start making any money. Hi, my name is Miss Mitchell. I am the counselor here at the DeKalb County Technology Center. Um, I'd like to welcome all of you here. It's, I would like for you to have a really good tour of the school, but unfortunately because of the COVID we are having to do a virtual tour, so this is our virtual tour. We're right now in the computer lab, and this is my office. If you go to my office, you'll go into the computer lab and into this door right here. Um, we want to try to help you to discover what you want to do. I have a um, website that you can go ahead and look at. It's uh, Tech Counselor at Weebly.com. Uh, you can go to that and see all those things. I want to take you out and let you see my bulletin board a little bit that has everything on it. I have a Google Classroom that you'll join when you uh, enroll here at the Tech School. And uh, we're here just to take care of you and help you to uh, discover what you want to do in life. And we are glad that you are interested in the Tech School. My name is David Holt. I'm a career coach for the Tab County Technology Center. My co-worker is Jessica Blaylock and together the two of us cover all the schools in DeKalb County. As a career coach, we travel around and work primarily with seniors on college applications and financial aid. Also with juniors, we work with um, mock interviews and resumes. With our ninth graders, we try to help with four-year plans, just whatever the counselor needs with their program. We're here to help you. My schools are Collinsville, Crossville, Geraldine, and Plainview, as well as the Technology Center. Ms. Blaylock has five, Sylvania, Eider, Valley Head, and Fort Payne City. So if we can help you, let us know. We'd be glad to help you find a career that you're interested in, maybe a college that you'd like to go to to get that certification or degree. Um, whatever we can do to help you, we are here to do that. But come to the Technology Center. We'd love to have you here. It's a great program. I'm Mr. Phillips. I'm the Mason instructor here at the Cab County Technology Center. I teach uh, mainly 11th and 12th grade students from Cab County. Uh, the students come here to learn uh, brick and block masonry skills. And when they uh, leave the program after two years, they're considered what we call uh, apprentices, uh, upper level apprentices. They have uh, great skills, but they're not masons yet. So they'll, they'll learn brick, brick laying, block laying, how to mix mortar, how to use a masonry saw, how to estimate materials. They also leave with credentials such as uh, OSHA 10, uh, construction credential. Uh, they get uh, NCCER, which is a construction curriculum. Most of our time is spent in the shop and uh, they're practicing their skills daily. So the more that they can become skilled in the time they're here, uh, the better chance they'll have of getting a job out there. There's plenty of jobs in masonry. Every student that comes through the program that wants a job uh, gets one, either in uh, commercial masonry construction or residential construction. It's a trade that, that's in demand now, will be in demand in the future, and these students can go straight to work they don't have to go to college unless they choose to do so in masonry. And that's appealing to a lot of students when they can start out somewhere between 12 and $15 an hour right out of high school uh, working with a mason contractor. So it's a, a trade that's in demand now, be in demand in the future. And uh, got a lot of good, good students coming through here learning, learning the great stuff.
learn the placement of panels to paint it. Um, if I can come and be a part of what we do here, and any way we can help you. Uh, if you like cars, if you like something fast paced and different. school here 10 years ago and uh, ended up going to Gaston State right after uh, high school to further my education. Uh, after that, I ended up getting to the Pipe Fitters Union. Um, I worked in fossil power, nuclear power, steel mills, paper mills, things like that. And this is the kind of place that helped me get to where I was. Um, the instructor that used to be here was also a pipe fitter, so I'm teaching the same ways as it's always been taught. Uh, here at the Tech School, we, we learn four different processes and multiple different joint designs. We run a, a stick process with multiple different rods. We run a MIG process, a flux core, and a TIG. The TIG process will have three different types of metal. Uh, carbon steel, stainless steel, and aluminum. Um, so, a lot of different uh, joint designs. We run fillet welds, on T joints, corner joints, lap joints. We run V groove joints on plate and pipe. Uh, we do pipe here, but you'll get to pipe the further on you get into the program. Uh, that's not something you just start out on. Uh, we run two different processes on the pipe. We run a TIG and a stick. Uh, a lot of questions I get, can I get certified in welding here at the tech school? And yes, you can. Now, not everybody will get a certification. You have to earn the certification. Uh, we do what's called hands-on welding test. Uh, hands-on welding test, uh, they're a demonstration of what you can do, and we have two different types of, two different methods of testing in here. We do x-ray and stress beam. Now, we do all of our pipe certs on an x-ray, but we do our plate certs on a bin test. Uh, if we do an x-ray, we'll box it up, we'll send it to Bessemer, Alabama, to American Testing Lab, for they'll x-ray it, send us the film back, document, give you a pass. Um, now, all of our plate certs are done here. We do those for free. Um, <coughs> A stress bend is, is taking the weld and bending it to the max to see if it holds. And there's a, there's a process of doing that on the V-groove butt, butt joint design. Um, we also learn how to cut with oxygen settling. Uh, we have two different ways of cutting metal in here. We, we have a plasma cutter and we have uh, oxygen settling torches. So that's also something we learn. It's not just welding. Another uh, question I get a lot is, what's the difference between tech school welding and the ag welding? Okay, the ag shop welding will teach you a lot of the basics. Uh, enough to where you can work on something on the farm or, or fix something. But this is more industry based. I talked about how I used to work in the fossil power, steel mill, paper mill, and nuclear power industry. Uh, we, we run a lot of industry type certifications, a lot of industry type joint designs. It's further in depth. Um, we also 
uh, have welding competitions that we go to sometimes, which we don't know if we're going to get to this year because of the COVID. But in the past, we've had a lot of different competitions that we'll go to where you can win prizes. Uh, and then we have bigger competitions where we go to district level, state level, and if you make it past the state level, the national level. Um, so that's a little bit about our Skills USA uh, club. If you're if you're in ag class, you're a part of FFA. Well, if you're a tech school student, you're part of Skills USA. So that's the kind of club that we're in. Um, we do have a classroom in here. It's not very big. We do 90% shop work, 10% classroom. Uh, we do what's called an OSHA 10 certification in here. It's a safety course. Um, you'll, you'll get that your first year that you're here. Now, we will do some paper tests. Uh, we do have a book curriculum that we do, but we don't really worry about that until uh, individuals senior year. So we really hit the shop hard. I can't teach you how to weld out of a book. We have to get in here and we have to learn it. This is a very, as you can see, look, there's a lot going on in here. It's a very dangerous shop. Uh, it, okay, it, it's cold in here when it's cold outside. It's hot in here when it's hot outside. It's dirty work, uh, but it is rewarding. Uh, the reason why it's so cold in here when it's cold outside is because we have these fans on. Uh, if we were to go out there, you wouldn't really be able to hear us talk real well. But we have four different fan, exhaust fans, and they, they pull fresh air from the door, and we have vents in the roof to keep the exhaust and stuff out of here that's caused by different types of processes. So, uh, a lot of people ask, well, how do I get into the program if I'm interested? So in the past, we've had an overflow. And there's an interview uh, application process that we try to go through. Uh, we'll check a lot of different things. Um, we'll, we'll talk to your teachers. You know, we'll talk to the uh, ag instructors. Uh, we'll, We'll ask, we'll try to figure out a little bit about you, things like that. It's a very simple process. But we have to do that because we have so many overflow. We can't take everybody in. Um, that's a good problem to have, but unfortunately we can't take everybody. So that's how we get into that. Uh, another question I get is, how much money can I to make? Well, it depends. The welding world is so big and so specialized that you have all these different processes and all these different types of avenues you can go down. I mean, it can range, you know, anywhere from $12 an hour to $50 an hour. Uh, I had a friend of mine that made $75 an hour the other day. Uh, but that's for your specialty people. You know, not everybody's going to do that. But even the lower end jobs are still high paid if you are capable of doing the work. Um, we have these things called well tests. When you go for a job, you have to demonstrate hands on if you can do the job. It's not like a regular interview where you can talk your way through and get the job. That's what's different about the welding world. You have to prove yourself. So. That's a little bit about how jobs work in the love industry, and that's a little bit about how you can get into this program. We go through an application process.
science teacher for first level at the DeKalb County Technology Center. Um, I've been a registered nurse for almost 30 years. Um, I left the industry about six years ago and started teaching here at the tech school. I've been enjoying every minute of it. I love my kids. I wouldn't take anything for the time that I've spent with them. And I look forward to many more years of working with my kids. Um, I would love to invite you to come and visit with us anytime, or I would like to encourage you to come and be a part of our class. Uh, we spend a lot of time working on the basics of healthcare, whatever occupation you might be interested in in healthcare, and out into the community and work in clinical sites to learn more about uh, different occupations in healthcare. We also do things in the community to help provide for um, different services in the community to help as far as uh, health healthcare services go. Uh, we also are part of Skills USA. I myself was a former member of Skills USA and I'm a big advocate of it. That is our club organization that we participate in where our students are able to train in the different areas that they are interested in pursuing careers in and then we get to go and compete in it. Uh, we have won uh, several years, several different competitions. Most recently we won in medical math, uh, medical terminology, CPR, first aid, things like that. So I look forward to working with you um, to help you develop your career choices and get you involved in activities with us. Today actually are working on uh, hairstyle worksheets that they have, uh, working on each hairstyle and completing them for a grade. Uh, first year students learn hairstyling techniques, they learn infection control, um, let's see what else will y'all do, haircutting, they learn four female types of haircuts, just basic haircuts, nothing just out of the ordinary. They'll do three guy cuts, they also get a guy mannequin, they buy their own kit which is about $223 but all the items are theirs to keep, and then they pay $55 for a lab fee, and a $15 Skills USA fee, which Skills USA that allows them to go to a state contest every year and compete in aesthetics, nails, skin, hair, several different um, categories. So that's a lot of fun to be a part of. Second year, you, they roll into hair coloring and also facials. We have a whole facial area against the wall over there where they actually learn about skin care, skin diseases, skin types, um, all the great pimples that teenagers love. They learn a lot about them, how to take better care of their skin. So, you know, we do, we have book work theory that we do, and we also do a lot of hands-on. I just try to mix it up and make it fun. I teach healthcare science to our junior level students. I'm a registered nurse by trade. I've been nursing for 17 years. This is my fourth year here at the tech school and I love this job because I feel like it really bridges the gap between high school students and college level students. We really focus in this class on learning anatomy, physiology. Uh, we learn um, a whole lot of medical terminology. 
Um, we also focus on diseases and disorders. And in my program, we offer you the opportunity to get your certified nursing assistant certificate where you will actually be able to be job ready day one after graduation. In my program, we offer two career tech student organizations. We offer Skills USA and also HOSA, which is Future Health Professionals. So my students have the opportunity to be members and be involved in both of those student-led organizations. We usually compete in Skills USA in the spring of the year, where so far we have had uh, very good results from competition. My students usually do well competing in the first aid, CPR, and the medical terminology competitions. My program, we do offer a lot of um, time and opportunity for career explorations. So if you're not for sure what you want to do as your career, this is a good place to start if you're interested in anything in the healthcare field. We have a lot of students that want to be doctors, nurses, veterinarians. It's a large opportunity for everyone, um, depending on uh, what you want to do with your career. Get them ready to be a, um, what's the word I'm looking for, like OJT at a, a shop or car dealership, or if they want to go on to a post-secondary automotive college, uh, we kind of have them get ready for that type of stuff. They need to get you know, scholarships and you know, schools to go to. But we try to teach them basic skills. Like right now, they are this, this uh, crew right here is working on alignment, uh, and then Alex over there is working on uh, tire machine dismounting and mounting a tire and uh, this, uh, this gentleman over here is working on the tire balance. These are skills that they can use in a, uh, an automotive uh, tire store or whatever uh, because we work at any tire store we pretty much need to know those skills. But we, we but that's not the only thing we do around here but that's what we're working on today. Cap County Fire Science Program. Uh, everybody just calls me Motor. Uh, I'm the training officer for the city of Rainsville and also uh, over to Cap County's uh, Fire Association training. So uh, we're happy to have this fire science program here. 
Uh, we've got 17 uh, students this year. We do public safety telecommunicator, which is a dispatch and certification class of the Alabama Fire College. We've already got one uh, senior that graduated two years ago that has been hired at Cab County 911 and is still employed there. This is her uh, going on her third year of being employed. So uh, we teach uh, fire science, which results in the certified firefighter for volunteer firefighters. Uh, it's a total of 160 hours that contains hazmat. And we also do an emergency medical responder course, which is a level under emergency medical technician. So, as you see, we've got our fire engines set up here today, our ladder truck uh, over this way. We've got our third block, which we call Station 3. In the fire service, we have different stations. You have multiple stations, so third block is Station 3. So, our Station 3, each station has its own officer, a lieutenant, a sergeant, and then we have our cadet firefighters. So, we teach leadership, job skills, uh, on the job training. Uh, our lieutenant in this block actually does the job work program and after tech school's over he stays here and he goes on calls and runs calls with the fire crew. Josh Wheatley here at DeKalb County Tech School. I'm doing the criminal justice class. I've been doing law enforcement for around 16 years and we'd love to have you come to our program and see what we got to offer. My name is Andrea Waynight and I am in the criminal justice class. We had attorney Bob Johnson come in and talk to us about how the circuit court and the district court work and he gave us a paper and explained the steps. And I take criminal justice at Cap County Tech School, and we had Officer Sherry Johnson show us how K9 Dog works around the car to find drugs. Hey, I'm Sarah Ardro. This is Theater Arts. Um, today we are working on um, music from our show Into the Woods. Um, which is going to be happening in December, so everybody come see it. Uh, Peyton Hamby back there is uh, playing the witch, um, so she's working on one of her songs uh, right now called Stay With Me, and it's between the witch and Rapunzel, and since Rapunzel's not in class, I will be playing the part of Rapunzel. Rapunzel screams. Ah! Rehearsal tracks. Tracks. If you know what you want, then you go and you find it and you get it. Home. Don't 
doing what the child or not, and you give, and you take, and you bid, and you bargain, or you live to regret it. Will you please go home? My name is Tim Turner and I'm the Engineering Technology Instructor here at the DeKalb County Technical Center. And this used to be a drafting program and it still basically is, but we also do some additional things besides drafting. We're trying to get into some robotic stuff. We have a couple 3D printers over there that we make some parts with. We also have a laser cutter that we're doing some things with. One of the main projects that we're working on this year is a green power car. And we've had a stock car and this year we're trying to build our homes so that's pretty challenging we're trying to design a lot of the parts for it some of those will be 3d printed we're using some welded components so we have mr mike fall from the welding department helping us out on that we have a couple different other things going on but basically at this stage we are doing mostly drafting work so the the students are using inventor and solid works to make 3D models and then we from those 3D models we can make an actual engineering drawing from that. 